Many Excel users are familiar with the min and max functions, but most people are not familiar with the small and large functions. And in my humble opinion, the small and large functions can do exactly what the min and max functions do, but with more flexibility and control. For example, the min and max functions help us find the smallest and largest numbers, right? Well, what happens though if I wanted to find the second smallest number or the ninth largest number in Excel? Well, that's where the small and large functions come into play, and this video will cover just that. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon. I set up this Excel file with two sheets. The first sheet will show how to calculate the minimum and the maximum of some numbers, while the second sheet will show how to use the small and large functions. The first two functions are very similar to the last two, but they serve a very specific need as we will soon find out. So let's start with the min and max functions for now. I set up both functions with three columns because I want to show you three different ways to get to these functions. The first way is the manual way. I simply click on the cell where I want to display my result. I then type an equal sign as that's how we tell Excel that we're starting a new formula. Then I type the name of the function and in this case it's min. Then I type an open parenthesis to enter into my function or I can just hit tab on my keyboard. Then I highlight the cells that I want to calculate the minimum for. Then I just hit enter and Excel displays the minimum value of these selected cells. So this was just one way to use the minimum function. Another way to calculate the min function is to click on the cell where you want to display your result. Then go up here and click on the FX icon and an insert function dialog box appears. I type the name of the function that I want. Then I hit enter on my keyboard or I can press on the go button. I then see a list of possible matches. And since min is what I want and it's already selected for me, I can just press on OK. This opens a function arguments dialog box and it wants to know what cells you want to include in this calculation. If the correct cell numbers are not already included here, then you can simply click on your cells in the Excel sheet and then hit enter and Excel will display the minimum value of these cells. You could also have done these same exact steps by clicking on the formula tab. Then on the left, you can click on the FX icon and we are back to the same insert function dialog box as what I just showed you moments ago. Now having said all that and showed you all these ways to get to the minimum function, there is a much easier way and that's the way that you should be doing it moving forward. First, let's go back to our home tab. And now you simply click on the cell where you want to display your result, then go up to the sigma icon and click on the down arrow next to it. And from there, you choose min and right away, you see that Excel created the function for us. And not just that, it also highlighted the cells for us as well. Now I just hit enter and boom, we are done. How quick and easy was that? Please do let me know in the comments below what method you prefer the most. And before we move on to the next function, you could also reach the same min function by clicking on the formulas tab. And from there, you will see the sigma icon with the pull down arrow and the same functions as we have seen before under the home tab. Now for the max function in this Excel sheet, it will work the same exact way as the min function. You simply click on the cell where you want to display your result. I then type an equal sign to start my formula, then I type max, followed by a tab on the keyboard. Then I highlight the cells I want to include in my calculations. Then I hit enter, and we are done. For the much quicker way, I just click in this cell and go up to my sigma icon and choose max and hit enter, and I'm done. So that's how we do the min and max functions. Now wait, hold on to your horses. The min and max functions only calculate the smallest or the largest numbers in my cell range. But what happens if I want to calculate, say, the second smallest number or the fourth largest number? Well, for that, let's move on to the second Excel sheet. 
Excel has to do other functions just for that specific need. Here you see a list of salaries ranging from $1,000 up to $9,000. I made them very simple numbers to easily demonstrate the small and large functions. So I click in the cell where I want to display my result. Then I type an equal sign to start a formula. Then I type the name of my formula. And in this case, it's small. Followed by either a tab on my keyboard or an open parenthesis. And now see that this function takes two parameters, which are an array and the letter K. The array is simply the range of cells you want to use in your function. And the K letter is the placement location. For example, if you want to find the third smallest number in your cell range, then I would enter a 3 in my K value. So I will highlight my cell range, then enter a comma so I can move on to my next parameter, which is my K value. And for our example, I will enter 3. Now, can you guess what value will be returned here? If you guess 3,000, then you are correct. Why? Because 3,000 is the third smallest number. And say, for example, if I wanted to find the fifth smallest number in my cell range, then I would do this. Again, I start by typing an equal sign, then the word small, then tab, then I highlight my cell range, then I type a comma, and then the number 5, and I hit enter. And as expected, I got back the fifth smallest number, which in this case is $5,000. Pretty neat, right? Now the same exact thing can be done for the large function. This will return the largest number in my cell range based on the K value. So if I want to find the second largest value in my cell range, then I would start by clicking on the cell where I want to display the result. Then I type an equal sign to tell Excel that I'm about to start a formula. Then I type the word large, followed by a tab. Then I highlight my cell range. Then I enter two and I hit enter. The result is 8,000 because that's my second largest number in my highlighted cell range. And if I wanted to calculate my fourth largest number, then I do the same exact steps, but use a four for my K value, like this. And so I get 6,000 because that's the fourth largest number in my cell range. Pretty cool stuff, right? Please do let me know your feedback in the comments below. So based on what we just learned, I can technically just use the small and large functions to calculate the same thing that the min and max functions calculate. For example, to find the smallest number, which is the minimum, or to find the largest number, which is the maximum, I can actually just use the small and large functions and use the number 1 for the k value in my function, like this. I type an equal sign, then small, then highlight my cells, then I type a comma, then I type 1, and I hit enter. And since this formula gives me the first smallest number, it's the equivalence of the minimum function, and it returns 1000. And if I do the same thing for the large function, with a 1 for my k value, I should get 9,000, like this. Pretty cool, right? And so, that's how you could use the small and large functions. And because of the flexibility and the control in these two functions, we can actually do away with the min and max functions, if you like. So please do let me know in the comments below if you would start using the small and large functions instead of the min and max functions. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon. If you want to learn more about other functions, you may click on these videos here or find even more videos below in the description.